Well, I joined in, in 1969. I signed up uh, my last year of college. And uh, I did it because I thought it was a citizen's duty. I think a lot of what I did in the Navy uh, helped me, and, and part of it by surprise. I, I, I came uh, out of college thinking, well, this is something I should do, but I'm not sure I want to. Uh, by the time I was done, I was convinced, A, very talented people had made the, the career choice to come into the military. Second, the Navy was an absolutely extraordinary way to, to see other places. I got to some of the greatest ports in the world, and I'm very grateful for that. And you got command decision making, the, the, the ability to work under, under pressure, under extreme pressure sometimes as a uh, duty officer either in port or underway, and, and also uh, to be responsible for 30 men in my division, uh, the comm division, which was uh, a challenge. Uh, you had to know their problems, you had to know their opportunities, and, and try to do the best you could to make sure that they were all moving in the same direction. I don't think there's much different from that, from running a corporation or, in my case, uh, a law firm. Well, I think the service is a, a great career for many people uh, and, and very challenging. I, I had the inestimable job as a division officer to counsel a lot of young men in the Vietnam era about staying in. And, of course, at that point, all they wanted to do was grow their hair and get out. And for many of them, I thought they gave up a career, a profession that was ideally suited for their talents. And so I, I fought what unfortunately was often a losing battle to keep people, get them to re-up. Um, I, I think still today, it's, it's something that offers challenge, it offers a chance to serve in a, in a very, very uh, glorious tradition, and it has uh, great professional opportunities.